Hello, it is my pleasure to introduce you to our 2013 Door County Industry of the Year. Of course, it's Reynard's Cheese, represented today by the owners Chris and Ann Renner. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. So tell us about Reynard's Cheese. Reynard's Cheese, uh, Reynard's Cheese Store in Delhi here is a small cheese store that has been in operation in this location for 40 some years now. Mm -hmm. Our main products we make are um, cheddar cheese, cheese curds, string cheese, uh, Munster Brick, Monterey Jack, and Colby, and flavored cheeses also. We've got a Morel and Leek Monterey Jack, which has been one of our best sellers. Mm -hmm. Cracked black pepper cheddar is a great seller. We do like chili lime, garlic and herb, tomato basil, mm -hmm. um, cherry chipotle, sage. We've also started with some of the popular ones, like if you're in Door County, you gotta have a cherry. So we have mm -hmm. cherry cheddar, that's worked really well. And uh, we've also started a cheese curd bar here in the store, which we've been flavoring cheese curds, which has gone over gangbusters. Really? Uh, customers love it. We'll flavor them right there in front of them, let them try them. So Ann, tell us about some of the work that's going on here in, in the marketing area and some of the, talk about the growth of, of Renard's cheese. Sure. Um, we bought Renner's Cheese Store back in 2010, mm -hmm. um, and since we've grown about 200%. That's amazing. In two years? It, yeah, in two Three years, years. Two years, two and a half years. Yeah. Um, we have put on a full-time marketing person mm -hmm. um, and created a lot of other jobs as well along the way. Um, we started with six employees, full-time, part-time, and we now year-round have 29. That's fantastic. In our busy season, we have 42. No, we're going to continue to grow. Um, actually, recently we just started with another new account, um, supplying about 120,000 pounds of cheese curds a year. They'll be coming to us beginning this next month, um, as well as a breaded curd account down to the Florida state. Wow. Um, new distribution, they are going to be starting around 1,000 pounds of breaded a month, but their goals are to be up about 10,000 pounds a month. Mail order is a huge portion of our business, especially Christmas time. Yeah. So these customers that maybe are here in summer, they know about you and they're ordering in at Christmas time from like from Chicago, Milwaukee? Okay. Yes, the majority is. Um, and then we have our local businesses that order, mm -hmm. you know, a good number of boxes to send out to their customers. And how's the deli going over here? It's a new uh, restaurant in Southern North County. It's going over great, actually. Um, we've been very impressed. Mm -hmm. We have been very busy. We mm -hmm. added four new full-time employees to that area, which was a uh, a wonderful addition. Um, our pizzas have really taken off, taken off to the point where we've had requests for wholesaling. Nice. So right now we're going through the licensing on wholesaling our pizzas as well. Talk to me a little bit more about the jobs you offer, what kind of skills are required and uh, where do you see that going in the future? Um, we have a wide variety of jobs. You know, marketing obviously they have to have quite a skill with that mm -hmm. and some history behind it. Um, marketing is definitely key for our company. Mm -hmm. That was a very important full-time position we added. Um, the other areas that we've added is our management for our routes because of our wholesale distribution mm -hmm. growing. Mm -hmm. um, that's really detail-oriented. You know, that's something where it's a trained position, mm -hmm. um, and they also have to have good customer skills. Mm -hmm. uh, we put all of our employees through the Certified Tourism Ambassador course, mm -hmm. which has been a great addition um, to yeah. the atmosphere, and I think really benefited them. See further con in, uh, continued employment growth as well? Absolutely. Um, I think right now, this year, um, we're content with mm -hmm. the employees we have, depending on who comes back for summer. Mm -hmm. um, every year we try to um, bring back our previous year help mm -hmm. with all the training that's advantageous to both us and them. Sure. So tell us about uh, a little bit about, more about the future of the company. Where, where are we headed? Do you expect it to continue to grow? We are looking at growing our breaded cheese curd route. As I said, we've got a new account that's opening up in Florida and mm -hmm. covering that portion of the state, or the United States, excuse me. And then we also have a company on Minneapolis that has asked us to package curds in small packages for them. Mm -hmm. um, we're looking at doing about 1,000 pounds a week, or 2,000 pounds a week it would be on average. Um, we're in the works of getting that up and running. So, so I don't know if we've touched on this already, but what, what is it that makes these customers find you. What is your competitive advantage over all these other cheese companies? Our staff is a great um, competitive advantage we have over a lot of other cheese companies. Mm -hmm. um, our staff knows our product, knows mm -hmm. our product well. 
um, pairs it with other wonderful Door County products, which helps. Yeah. Um, our cheese is made in old, uh, the old-fashioned way, in mm -hmm. small um, artisan batches, mm -hmm. where the cheesemaker has more control of the vat. Um, instead of timing it and pushing it through, every vat cures in a different way. Mm -hmm. So they have the ability to adjust. It's all hands-on. It's been experience that's passed down for 52 years from my grandfather to my dad to my uncle to myself. Yeah. Well, congratulations and for this fabulous addition to Door County. It's a beautiful store. We know you're taking good care of our visitors and our residents and uh, giving them a great product and a uh, reason to come back to Door County. So you are very, very important to us and thank you for all that you're doing, both employment and, and uh, supporting all of our local businesses. We really, really appreciate it. So congratulations and thank you. Thank you. Thanks,